There seems to be a great deal of misunderstanding about G-Sync for NVIDIA and uh, FreeSync for AMD. People seem to have this idea that it's useless for uh, old games because you know old games just run at a fixed speed and therefore it doesn't matter. Variable refresh rate isn't just about being able to run a new PC game at 40 frames a second or 60 frames a second without having a lot of noticeable stuttering. What variable refresh you know, gives you is the ability to run at any refresh rate smoothly. Um, well, although I should qualify that, you know, by any refresh rate, we're really talking about you know, around 30 hertz through 144 hertz, depending on the monitor. It isn't, you know, any refresh rate, but but basically any reasonable range, you're going to be able to run at that. Now, why is this important? Okay, well, Samurai Showdown 2 is a really good game to illustrate why this matters. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to launch it in Mamir. Mamir. Okay, so the first thing you notice here is that the Neo Geo actually runs at 59.185606 hertz. Okay, it doesn't run at 60 hertz. Like almost every arcade game, it runs at some bizarre, um, you know, proprietary refresh rate that's, you know, different from other games. And, and, and so how does this matter? Why do I care? Uh, well, th this is why you care. Um, when you play any of these games and you run them at 60 hertz, and you have V-Sync on so you don't get tearing, you're going to see stuttering. You're going to see irregular flickering. You're going to see all kinds of disgusting artifacts. Now, now, now take a look at this. Look at the shadows uh, for the characters there. Um, you know, when you watch this YouTube video, you're going to see this. You're going to see the shadows flicker irregularly, you know, strangely, um, e even though if you actually had a G-Sync monitor, or a free sync monitor, you would see perfect shadow flickering. Every other frame, the, the solid black shadow would appear and then it would disappear. Like clockwork, you know, every other frame. It would be rock solid, you know, it would never be irregular. It, it would never look like, you know, it was stuttering or, you know, having some other problem. Um, and, and so it, it isn't just about effects like that, you know, scrolling, any movement in the games are all going to be impacted by this. Once again, Samurai Showdown 2 is a great game to illustrate what's going on. See the scrolling background here? You see how every second or so it hiccups? It's because it isn't running at the right refresh rate. I'm forcing it to 60 hertz right now, and you're watching it at 60 hertz on YouTube, and so you're getting choppy scrolling in the background there. Choppy scrolling, irregular flickering. Garbage, you know, all of these things detract, you know, from the experience, you know, you know, if you want to get as close to possible as the original hardware, you need to be able to run at the game's original refresh rate or it's never going to be right. Now, you might just say like, oh, well, that's no big deal. Um, I'll just tell MAME or whichever emulator to force the game to run at 60 hertz and then it'll all be smooth and I won't care. But see, that doesn't work either because... Um, if, if you're forcing a game that runs at 59.1 hertz to run at 60 hertz, now it runs too fast. And so now the pitch of all the sounds is going to be higher, and it's not going to sound right. And you can see this in the Mortal Kombat, um, uh, you know, one, uh, you know, driver here. Notice how this game runs at 54.7 hertz. This, this game actually runs at a pretty low refresh rate. Uh, and so... Because it's far enough off from 60 hertz, you will actually notice a speed difference if you force this game to run at 60 hertz. And once again, look at the scrolling. Look at the scrolling background there. If if you run at 54.7 hertz, or you know, uh, you know, or if you have a G-Sync or FreeSync monitor, this scrolling that you're seeing chug and chop right now is going to be glass smooth, absolutely bulletproof. You know, you know, liquid smooth. Um, and, and, and look at this scrolling here, when we're scrolling down. See that choppy bullcrap that you're seeing right now? It isn't going to be like that on a G-Sync or FreeSync monitor. That scrolling would have been perfectly smooth. So, just to summarize here, don't tell people that G-Sync and FreeSync are useless for older games, because they're not. Um, you know, they're actually more valuable, I think, for older games than they are for new games. Um, so, you know, hopefully this is, 
you know, useful information to people. You know, I, I'm just kind of getting sick of people repeating the same misinformation because they don't even understand, you know, what's going on.